Okay, you have the nerve to send those rascals to intimidate me and my family for how many? Oh, don't worry. Well, what are you doing? I will take the message. Okay. I will show you that you're not rubbish man, stupid man. I will teach you a lesson. So you are scared. You are scared, but you were not scared when you sent those rascals to come and destroy my father's peace. I will teach you a lesson in this village. Okay, because my father doesn't have a son. That's why you people are trying to intimidate us in this village. It will not work. Okay, why are you running now? Why are you running? I don't even know you can be scared. Mama, why did you feel you put them on it? I will be here till you come. It's it, 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 yours. <laughs> Um, Oga, did you call us here to buy market or what? I, I, I want to know. Why on a blood they hot like this? I've been a meeple fire for on a shop. I better give me two more make a shop. I take them. How many you want first? Two. Wow! This momo is so delicious. <laughs> you can say that again. Thank you. Let me cook This momo feels with pass all and now. What did you just say? Huh? I said this momo feels with pass all and now. Have you never done some? This momo mm. feels with pass all and now. 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 Look at this boy! Look at this boy! Don't worry. What's up? I will still catch him and beat him from where I stopped. Don't worry. Hold on, Why are you behaving like a child? How can you change our custom away because of Olana? I will never take insults from whosoever that is against Olana. Not even you. What I will not me. Not even you. If you're against Olana, I will still deal with you. They play. Let's go and show up. Your father, they play. Your father, they play. Okay, let's show. All I know is my leg. If he do me, I do you. She no send you. If he cross her lane, you call it water, water. I, mm, he shock you. No condition, make her a fish. Yes, I'm back, Papa. You almost gave me a, a heart attack. I thought something bad had happened to you. Nothing will happen to me, Papa. So, Nothing. How long has this been going on, Papa? Has what been going on? The rascals are starting from you all in the name of tax. How long, Papa? I am sure these are the same people that stole Mama's expensive jewelries and Hollandis. Yes. Papa, Papa Mbano. Papa Ukade Riho Mwanya. And you kept mute all this while. Why did you choose to die in silence, Papa? I would have killed all of them in war and in war when you gave me. Why have you decided to die in silence when you have somebody like me, Papa? Why? My daughter, you have been going through a lot of problems. You've had a lot of problems this while. I was only thinking that I shouldn't overload you with mine. But please, I am sorry for not telling you. It's okay. It's okay, Papa. But I want to assure you one thing. No man born of a woman or any woman born of a woman will ever intimidate you again. Not on my watch. That will not happen. Again. I need to know everything happening around you. 
please keep me informed, Papa. My daughter, you are just like your mother. She was as strong as a lioness. Don't talk about her, Papa. If you talk about her, you will make me emotional. And emotions is for the weak. Enough is enough. I want to see someone inside this car. Open the car. You want to see the person? Inside? Yes! Yes! Let her come out. I would have asked why you are aggressively knocking against my car. But I just remembered that you don't have a car. Let alone having a car as expensive as mine. I am not here to talk about your car. I am here to ask you to give me the money for everything that Onanna vandalized in my bar. Yes. I don't understand. How does that concern me? I don't know how she got to know my involvement in this whole matter. And she came to my bar, vandalized everything, breaking all my bottles of drink and glasses. That is none of my business. It concerns you, Amba Sanogi. Yes. I am putting it to your face that you are the one that is responsible for everything that happened. You had it all planned. If not, how come she did not attack you? Tell me. I know you are a primitive, worthless village man. But I never imagined that you could be this clueless. What made you think that I have a hand in whatever you are going through? I am not insinuating. Kama, Kemara, Kejoko, Abanu, Sebe, Kejin, Sebe, Abanu, Oko. I am saying to you that you are the one that exposed me in this whole thing. And you are not going anywhere today until you pay me every single money for all that she damaged in my bar. Or I will expose you in this village. You will expose me. Mm. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Do you have an idea of who I am? It's only a foolish man that dips his two hands inside a hole, inquisitive of what is inside. But a wise man will set fire beside the hole, waiting patiently for whatever that's inside that hole to come out. I don't understand you. What are you saying? What I am saying is you have dipped your two bare hands inside a snake hole and you will not escape its venom. Hmm. Hey, I need you to tutor to this man on how to talk to royal thieves. I believe you, you know, I don't have anything to do with you. I leave you the door. I leave you the door.
get the door. undiluted love I have for her and my son. That's the only reason I tolerated her for such a long time. She treated me like a slave, but it's all in the past now. And you, how could you? How could you? You threw us out for predators to devour us. Even if you don't care about me, how about my son? Did he also do something wrong? I never met that man from Adams. And you of all people would have made excuses for me, knowing fully well my sister is doing everything possible to chase me out of the house. And uh, EJ love, you could have run a baby. And I chop why. It's alright, no problem. Yes, sir. I know you did everything you did because you were scared of revealing whatever you guys did. Yes. We took a blood oath. I swore never to reveal the real truth. And I'm about aware. Listen. Or can I tell you that the oath was actually meant to threaten you? Yes. Even if you had gone ahead to spill the truth, there's nothing that's going to happen to you. I am telling you that I know the story from the bottom of it to the top of it till the date we're standing here. If I had revealed the truth, I wouldn't have died. You would not die. It was one of her arts, one of her evil ways to shred and cover her dealings. She naked. Now you have fake oath. It is. This girl has to come in different ways. I don't know what I've done to Zarachi. Eh? She's been so mean to me. Still mean to me. For no reason. And I love her. I love her so much. I love her. Um, I don't know. Life has not been the same. Ever since you left my house, life has really not been the same. You know, there's something impacted the moment you left my house. Yeah. And I wish to use this medium to let you know. And I can't go on this life without you. Please. I can't believe this life without you. Please come with me. I would like to make you the queen of Antiago Kingdom. You see, please. You want to make me the queen? Are you mad? No matter what Zirachi has done, she's my blood sister. I will not and I will never have anything to do with you. Hey, shut up and leave. Let's go. 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 let us go I tell you, please leave. I mean, Lutana. see, 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 I don't want to be disrespectful. Lutana! Oga, please move. Out! Oga, out! We go. Out! Out! Don't 
don't come here next time to tell me nonsense. What do you know about love? You know about love, and you, you throw I and my son to the streets for predators to devour us in our car to love. They go to in our car and love. You lack humanity. You need to go love. Rubbish. What's going on? Father. I just heard you shouting. No, no, no. I was joking with one of my friends. I was joking. It's just a joke. Eh? Yes, it's just mm -hmm. a joke. Rafa, yes. it's a lie. Shh, 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 Who asked you? Will you stop harassing? Boy, come. Don't say what's it. You won't ask you. Nah, nah. You know mommy knows. Oh, if you need to But I don't worry, I'm fine. Hey, hey, father, let me help you and break that firewood. Come, come, come. Can I just assume you want maybe something? Please, please. Yeah, and that stupid people everywhere. What is the update? The prince was seen driving into Mr. Hajini's compound, but he was chased by Olanna with a gun. What did Prince Meremese of Ndako Kingdom go to do at Olanna's compound? From my investigations, he went there to beg her to marry him. Yes. That will be over my dead body. Over my dead body. Obiora, you have done well. But I need you to do me one last favor. When as much as money is involved, <laughs> consider it done. <dumb. laughs> I will pay me? you the sum of 500,000 naira for you to burn. Set ablaze, Mr. Hygienus, Olana, and Afamifuna. You know what? You I will mean? stand there and make sure that none of them makes it out alive. Burn it down. Taraji, you know what I can do once money is involved? Even if it's the whole community, I will do that. Consider it done. You will get your balance when the job is done. It's all right. All I know is that smile again. If you do me, I do you. Hey! Come, 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 come! If you move this back, I will chop it. Did you? What is wrong with you? Wait, 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 wait. Do you want us to do your funeral? You go go na pants. If you go party, what is it now? You go walk party, just on express. More wrong with you. I wouldn't want to kill you, my but my guy. What is it? What is your problem? Olana, I should be asking you this question. What is the problem? This is not the Olana that I know. What changed you? A lot changed me. Something happened to me, and I realized that the only way to survive in this village is to bring back the old me I buried long time ago. Nobody will intimidate me again now. Okay? I won't let that happen. So what is it? Because I know what I'm here for. Olana, Olana, whatsoever it is, you know you can confide in me. Talk to me. Please, let's go. Let's go. I will make a man down for you. Make you mend who? A mama? Mend me! You, Gozi Sochuku! I remember when you were small, wearing pampas, running around the whole village. And now you think you've grown that you would want to mend me. Let me tell you, go home and mend your grandfather, idiot. Anyway, I am not even here because of you. Eh? I'm not here for you. Eh? Oh, oh, Lana. Oh, Lana. Get even here, man. The news has been going around the whole village that Prince Mary Meze of Ndiaku Kingdom came to your compound to ask for your hand in marriage. I am here to know why you would want to leave me and go to that pompous press. Why? Why? Can I eat No, is there something wrong with you? Are you mad? Oh. How dare you stop me to, to, to spill such gibberish that, you, you, that you're saying? Is it because you're my friend? Hey, 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 hey. Change your rigging now. I'll, 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 just, I'll just blow off your skull in a year. See, 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 don't you ever in your miserable life stop me to discuss such nonsense. No, in a bros or in a poala. Idiot. Guy, can I You pointed this gun at me. You did the member. You're lucky I didn't kill you. Che? You pointed this gun at me. Guy, but I go to dumb. No, 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 no,
Hey! I make a rig a lesson of Bodani. I make a rig a lesson of Bodani. It's okay. I must get to the protest. I'm going to be a You don't go come out here. You don't fit. I don't turn up. See? Are you serious? Read two seconds. I don't burn this house. Go inside. One, two. Go hey, inside. You would die in here. Jesus. Come on, let me see you. <laughs> all of you will see. You see, all of them go die in here. You go die for that place. I don't turn out. No, no movement for that. All of them go die. They don't pay me. I don't chop the money. But I go die. You will never know. You will die. All of you will die. Sent him. My daughter, this is more serious than we think. Hey. Our enemy is really close. We have to be careful. Whoever that is doing this to us is not far from us. I agree with you. You okay, no, no. Welcome, the Prince of India. Yes. It is my pleasure to find out with you. I don't know what I did to my daughter. Interaction. She refused to introduce me to all this. And she has also forgotten that she has a father in the Whatever I did to her, I don't know if I just refused to. Um, uh, Prince. I want to ask you something. Auntie, your design. Don't you listen? Your ears are they for fancy? 
I remember vividly telling you the last time you came to this place never to step your feet into this compound, but you wouldn't listen. In case you don't know, the last time you came, the rumor was all over the place that you came to ask for my hand in marriage. Now you're here again. When you leave, they'll start saying you have come to for introduction. Now, I don't want it. Stay away from me. Mood do not get a mood in the book as Madame Gongo and the Munya Gongo, the man like him. Stay away from this family, Biko. Biko. Alana, I remember the last time I came here. I came here to apologize to you about what happened in my place. I said I'm sorry about whatever happened in the past. Listen, I came here immediately ahead of what happened. And leaving you here is leaving you under risk. You mean that hoodlum? I don't know why he chose to die instead of revealing the identity of who sent him. The vigilantes have taken him. May his soul rest in peace. Oh, Nana, I suppose you should be concerned and worried about the safety of your family. Oh, Nana, you, it's like you don't even understand what is on ground. Oh, Nana, if I leave you here, you are putting your entire family under risk. You are leaving yourself under risk. You are putting your father under risk. You are putting Afome Puna under risk. See, these food blobs, you know how they operate, they have their guns, and they want to take their revenge on people. You, you need to listen to me. Prior to my coming here, I had already made an arrangement with a friend that owned an uncompleted building somewhere. Though it's furnished, but it's a place you guys can move in for the meantime, then subsequently we then find a way forward. I believe you. Hmm. You're right, but the question is where do we go to? Where do we go to? We don't have any other place apart from this place. That is what I am saying. I had made an agreement before this moment. You, you the not... same you. The same you that chased us out of the house. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, please listen to me. I have said this before. I am sorry. I meant well. Please forgive me. My daughter. I think you did me as well. I won't have to stay at night to achieve your things. I suggest you listen to me. Don't touch me. I now. I'll give you here. Bob, you boo bad luck. Nice one. Guy, come. I'm not sure about that. What is it? None of you touched the food. Do you want to starve yourselves to death? Death? Mom, what's the difference between death and locked up here like, like condemned criminals? Mom, is it fair? I forbid you to talk about death again. Mom, we need our freedom. Exactly, Mom. Just, I'm tired of staying here all just the time. Give us, just give it to us. I know. I know you are tired of being in here. I am your mother. And I'm not happy myself. But I have tried to talk to your father. I've talked to him severally. He's angry. He is angry at you guys for spoiling a deal worth millions of dollars for him. I'm very innocent. It was the both of them. You know, no, shut up, you Shut mother. up! Does it matter now? It doesn't matter who is innocent and who is not innocent. What matters now is that you should please eat your food. I am very sure your father will come around soon. Please. 
Mommy, we are not hungry. Stop bringing us food. You're not hungry too. Mommy, I'm very hungry. If possible, add your own portion and join me. Are you serious? Yes, seriously. <laughs> Chloe. Mommy, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Ethan, mm. please. Your food is very sweet. Yes, I am it's your meat though. I'll do it for your sake, but it's only the meat. This is a new house and I hope you like it. I hope you like it. Who wouldn't? I love it. I found this is a new home as well. So, it's beautiful. Regarding your property, I had already arranged for a haulage company that will convey your properties later in the day and it will be moved into the new place. Wow. Thank you so much, my son. Don't mention, please. Don't this mention. place is a whole better. Let those people live here soon. Afam, I'm glad you like the place as well. Um, I want to appreciate you for this tremendous help. God bless you. God bless you. I mean, you, you don't have to thank me. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it because I'm supposed to do so. And more so, lest I forget, sir, um, I'll be leaving you here alone while I move with them to my own place. Really? They are going back with me to my own house. Please, why are you giving me that look? Please, can we see the house? Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, I have some food stuff here already. Let's go check the kitchen okay. and you see. So in case you might have to leave other things that you won't be needing in the other house. Yeah. Then there's also a borehole. Wow. There's actually, there's actually a borehole on the other side. heard about the painful demise of Olana, her father, and the miserable son. Well, that's because they are all still alive. Except for Obira, who is dead now. That is not possible. What happened? Yeah, it's possible. You see, Obira was... He succeeded in setting the house ablaze, set putting the house on fire. But somehow Olana was able to boggle the locks and run after Obiora. Long story cut short, Obiora had to take his own life rather than expose the person who was behind the attack. Hmm. That is the best thing he has ever done in his miserable life. Had even he exposed me, I would have killed him myself. And he knows it would have been so painful. And slow. <laughs> mm. Well, that's not all. Prince Miriam is a bot Olena's father a house. And then I heard he has taken Olena and her son to his kingdom to perform the, the marriage rites. What did you just say? I said that Prince Miriam is a If you finish that sentence. I will rip out your thong from its roots and I will give it to you to feed on. Olana. Olana. Hmm. I have underestimated you. But that is the mistake I will never do again. Come oh, please. Oh, 
this hasn't changed. The only difference is here is here you have enough peace. No more troubles of life. I will make you the happiest queen Jaco Kingdom has ever experienced. Come on, let me show you around. Let me take you to your bedroom, your master's bedroom. I hope you're happy to be here. Okay, I like it. Now, uh, go the other way. Just take the other way. You can see uh, the balcony. You can look around. Come on, let me help you. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry, man. Come on. Let me take you around. Why have you planned destroying all our plans? You swear have you tried destroying all our efforts? Why, Alicia? What did I do again? Well, why did you eat the food we planned not to eat? Why did you? Because I was hungry and I couldn't pretend for too long. If I say my mind now, it will go to the history that I am disrespecting my elder sister. Excuse me. This girl. She's so stupid. Wait. Yes! She's so intelligent. I hope you're not talking to me. That's not true. You're too harsh. I'm just saying my mind. Alicia, how do you expect mom to persuade dad to change in our school? I am tired of fighting. We have done so much mischievous things. And it keeps up ending us in trouble. Which I am tired of. I dislike that because he hates us. No, don't say that. Okay? Dad doesn't hate us. He loves us. The reason he's being hard on us is because he thinks we are not old enough to take care of ourselves. Exactly. Dad loves us. Uh huh. I have one more plan. Oh, no, 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 well, at first, I didn't want to accept all the second point. I said to myself, your brother is a big man. He was just blinded by the love he had for your sister. You know what I'm saying? It's the fact that you treat that way like your own. No fool will have his hands. The love of his also. Though I didn't give her to you, it is my duty to leave you. I have always seen you as my son since the day we were born. And my son will always be happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't mistake me for being here on this. Thank you. I know you're going to make a place for you. The same thing you're going to keep seeing. Are you doing this right now? I don't know. Okay, um, please go to another phone. Thank you. You don't need to go by yourself. I hope this maid in your house to help you do all the chores in the house so you don't have to stress in this. This is too much, my princess. I really do appreciate your example. I have done everything, I've mowed, I've, I've cooked. Don't worry, the little ones will be good for you. Maids, yes, yes, my princess. Um, let's go to the kitchen, get something to do, wash the dishes, you know, clean everywhere. And what you're doing? Come back, I'll give
about hmm? see today's coma there is no more salt in it there is no more salt in today's coma look everything answers presence to normal proportion i tell you hey hey you see, uh, see, you see just eat this pomo and pay me i don't have time for all this your long talk just eat and pay me <laughs> see hmm? Is it, is, it, is it because all land is leaving this village? That is the reason why you can you can now relax and uh, cook cook your pomo and season it very well. Eh? Is it because she's leaving? What mm. are yeah. you talking about? Ah. Are you not in this village? Eh? Everybody in this village knows that after the fire incident which happened at uh, all and Nas father's house. Prince of Ondako Kingdom came and bought him a new house near Igwe's palace. I even went there to congratulate Mr. Hygienus. And there I saw Olanna and uh, Afamefuna packing their things to leave for his kingdom. I tell you, I saw them with my two eyes. <laughs> Are you surprised? My brother, God is God, though. Ever anything can happen. You saw who? Uh, uh, you saw who? Uh, you want to fight me again? You saw who? You still want to fight me? Who did you see? Relax now. You want to who fight me see? again? You saw who? Come and take your money now. Hey! Come and take your money now. Which money? All on and more. All on and more. <laughs> this boy, this young man. You don't know that God is God. Anything can happen. God is God. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Food is ready. Food is ready. Baby, baby. My children! My children! Where are my children? They left through the bathroom window. They are nowhere to be found. My children! My children! Where are my children? Did you say your children? No. So they are now your children. But before now, they were only my children. Look as I begged you. I pleaded with you to let them out of their room. But no, you insisted on locking them up here. Now my children are nowhere to be found. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. And where are you going? I am going to look for my children. And if I go out there without coming home with my children safe and sound, I promise you, I will not forgive you. Because I'm not going to be 
Please, must send that bitch to us. Yeah, yeah, I think. <coughs> you see, I, I, I wanted what, to... You wanted to what? No, you wanted to what? You wanted to go and sell for one day. Okay, look at your yesterday, for one day. Oh, baby, you can't spoil because you know remember to warm it. Look at me now, I am hungry. You don't have money to buy food. You remember I need church. Anyway, I brought you your drink because uh, I, I know anytime you are angry. And take your drink, it makes you better feel. You know what? Thank you, my son. I'm welcome. I'm moving there. <laughs> Thank you. So what do I owe this royal invitation? I'm glad you addressed me properly. At least it has saved us some precious time. The coronation stroke traditional marriage will be taking place in a few days' time. That's correct. And your father, who happens to be one of the best wine tappers in this village, will be the one supply her wine on the day of the ceremony. That's correct, my queen. Good. I called you here because I want you to go to your father. Persuade him to poison the palm wine. What? You mean you want to poison the wine and kill the prince, his bride and everyone that will sip from it? Exactly. I cannot do it. My conscience will not allow me. Besides, if I'm caught in the act, my family and I will be stoned alive. Your mother is critically ill in the hospital. Neither you or your father have raised any money for her heart surgery. I will give you the sum of one million naira. Take part of it for her treatment, then use the rest to locate to the city where no one will trust it of you. So tell me, young lady, what is it going to be? One million. One million naira. You heard me. My queen, I'm in. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> now, I need you to. All right, thank you, DPO. Please, I beg you, keep me updated. Thank you. What did he say? Well, um, they haven't found them, but they are seriously searching. Uh, Let's be optimistic. I'm sure very soon something positive will come up. Uh, but me, oh, my own is finished. Honey, it is official that our children are missing. Maybe, maybe they have been kidnapped. Or maybe a ritualist have taken my children. Enough, babes. Honestly, we need to be optimistic and keep hopes alive. Let's hope that something comes up real soon. You just heard the DPO. He said he's going to get back to me as soon as they find them. Please. 
What nonsense hope are you keeping alive? It is all your fault. Babe, I need you to calm down, okay? This is not time for us to start shifting blames. Please, relax. Oh, Lucas. I will continue to blame you. I will always blame you, Lucas. I talked to you. I spoke to you like a wife would to her husband. I begged you. I told you that you were being too harsh on those children, but no, you didn't listen to me. Now you have succeeded. You have chased your own children out of your house because of a deal you lost. I will say this again. And I am very serious with what I am telling you right now. Mr. Lucas, if I do not find my children, I will not forgive you. I promise you. So I'm supposed to spare the rod and spoil your children. Where is your shelter now? Release your miracle. Don't let the tears of the innocent rain down in vain. Open the windows of heaven. Is there a particular reason why the SMO is not here yet? Not really, my prince. SMO will soon be here. Why we wait for your wife to step out? Thank you. The yes, SMO is where, and before your, the arrival of your wife, the SMO must be there. for me, that's fantastic. What about the benevolent Mama to a gym, the DJ the mascot? Yeah, I don't know. They are all on their way coming. Because I need DJ one or one more today, because my distant cousin Flavon and Jacob. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, Flavon. Oh, yeah, man.
you be crying now? It's already late. The head has been chopped off. I can't be crying because, because Prince has married the, the love of your life. No need to worry. The marriage has already taken place. So what you need now is to drink what I have last. Face your business. Let's go and set more. There's no money in this house. Look, let's go. But I don't say anything. I thought I was not going to see you again. Hey, no one else. What's up? He doesn't stand on. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is my son, Nefeti. Oh. Uh, Nefeti, huh? uh, meet your uncle, my brother. My uncle? Oh, okay. hey. <laughs> yeah. Nefeti, how are you doing? Ah, oh, Baba, you didn't tell me I have an uncle like this. I will tell him. Damn. Son, son, that's your message, Baba. Before I show it for you. Um, no to do, but there's no time for this. Someone is about getting married to the love of my life. I want us to go there before it's too late. Love of your life? Help your brother. Is it possible? Oh. No, it's Nico. not possible. Yeah, Marka. Let's go there right away. Right away! Let's, let's go there! Right away. Stay back, Nefitch. Let's go away. Yeah, we'll be back before. You know what, yeah? Stay back! Let's go there. Hey! Right. Help your brother! My daughter, today is a very special day. You will take this drink and you will eat that man after your heart. You give it to him, then the world will know that you have chosen this special man.
She's doing very good, man. Uh, you can't use fast recuperating. Just, yes, just stop. I can see. The one person who left everything to focus on her own personal life. Please keep your leg for me. Oh, oh, oh no, no, come on. You don't have to sound that way. Stop it. Not again now. When? No, tell me. When? You know I don't like that girl. I hate her. Everything about her doesn't sit well with me. I forbid you! Oh, Forbidden from sounding that way. How dare you sound derogatory regarding a woman I want to end my life with? Listen, what my dad must say is that I'm happy with her. That's the most important thing here, and not what you're saying. Oh, please, save me the pretense. Save me the pretense. You and I know that all is not well. So why are you acting like it is? The throne has been vacant for how long? And when they tell you about it, what do you say? You are not psychologically okay for it. How can you be psychologically okay when you choose to stay in a rented apartment, leave your home, the palace? You roam around like a commoner. You refuse all your royal guards. For what? If you don't desist from sounding the way you're sounding right away, I would show you the door. <laughs> um, <Thank> you. <clears throat> it's fine. All I'm trying to say is just do something that will make our late parents proud. That's that's my point. <laughs> <laughs> 